such a vigorous and technically advanced style of dancing, it's more important to have a good teacher who understands how to teach children, uh, how to take, teach you know, technique correctly so that you don't get injured. It's really, really important to have teachers who truly understand you know, how to teach it technically correctly because it is quite easy to get injured when you lift your legs up high, when you jump really a lot, if you're not actually doing it technically correct. So I would say the teacher is more important than the actual style. We take kids from the age of four. Some schools take them from two years old, you know. I wouldn't necessarily say there is a set age, like, okay, by this time you have to have started. If it's a student who wants to take ballet professionally, then the younger, the better. But there are, of course, uh, exceptions to that. For example, uh, Misty Copeland, who is a kind of a huge star in America. She's a principal dancer with New York City Ballet. She, I think, started when she was 12, which, you know, in the ballet world is considered relatively late. Yeah, but she is amazing, you know, so there are exceptions. But if you're, and I mean, a four-year-old probably doesn't know if they want to do it professionally. <laughs> but most uh, professional ballet dancers have started quite early, four, five, six. Classical ballet is ultimately a performing art. It's, it's meant to go on the stage. One part of it is just the excitement for the kids. You know, they get to go on stage in front of thousands of people, they have costumes, they have makeup. You know, it's just so exciting. It's, it's a memory that they're going to keep forever, probably. And they often keep their costumes and they get older, you know, and they come later, years later and show us, you know, oh, look, here's my costume from 10 years ago. You know, it's memories that they keep forever. Um, there's also the aspect of understanding, you know, uh, another side of ballet. It's not just here in the studio. You know, how it works backstage, how it works with lights and the music. And of course there's teamwork, again, you know, going on stage with a big group of children. And at the end of all our shows, we have all, all the participants on stage at the end of the show, which often is between three and 500 people. That, that requires teamwork, you know, that requires knowing where you are. Again, body awareness, critical thinking, you know, knowing what you're doing. And that also is just such a beautiful way to end a show because there's this joy and elation from everybody when they get to sing and dance and, you know, really feel the energy from the audience as well. So that's also, it's a really important part of learning classical ballet because, like I said, it's a performing art, you know, and it's all very well to be able to do it in the studio and do it beautifully. And eventually also, if that's all you want to do, that's also okay, you know, you don't have to become a performer, but as students, you know, they should be exposed to those aspect of, uh, aspects of the art because then they can also make informed decisions about if they want to take it further, you know, if it's something that they want to pursue. It's a tough profession. It's tough. If you want to become a professional dancer, ballet dancer or any other kind, it's tough. You know, you go through a lot in training and a, a lot in trying to get jobs, auditioning for companies, auditioning for roles. You know, it's a tough job, so, so it requires a certain kind of personality as well to be able to do that, you know, and to want to do that, to have that passion to do that. And I think that's also why, you know, out of a thousand students, it's a handful or two who actually continue. Here, we have our school, of course, first, which in the kind of beginning years is great. The first, let's say, maybe 10 years is good. Um, we are eventually wanting to build a vocational school here. We want a proper vocational school in India so that more Indian students have the opportunity to pursue ballet professionally. At the moment in India, that's not available. We don't have the equivalent of like the Royal Ballet School, which is there in London. And there's quite a few of those in Europe, in America, and um, in Russia, and kind of all over the world. Here we don't have that yet. And that is one of our missions, is to actually create that school. Uh, at the moment, since we don't have that, it would be going, if you want to become a professional ballet dancer, you would have to go to, you would have to go abroad to become, you know, to go to a full-time, eight hours a day vocational school 
uh, eventually. Now you could do that like the Royal Ballet School, they take students I think from when they're seven already and they, you know, they would do academics in the morning and then dance in the afternoon or the other way around and it's like a full time, you know, full time training for them. Uh, but it's also possible to go at college level, so when you're 16, 17, 18, train here first and then go to a college uh, or abroad and do three years of a, a college diploma in performing arts, which could be ballet, it could be musical theatre, it could be contemporary dance. So both those options are available for students who want to continue professionally. Um, I mean, that's what I did. I finished school here. I went to high school here. I finished it here and then I went to dance college in London. Uh, and I also did my teaching degree in London. And then I came back here again to teach. So those options are there. Mm -hmm.